Hello everyone, I've bought some cheap headgears to use them with my DIY VR projects. Today I will make a quick review for each of them. First one is made by Lux. It says right here that this thing's comfort is over the top. I'll be a judge of that. There is also a picture of some random guy who seems to really like the stick he's holding. There's the company logo. I don't know if it tells you something. Also some random number. On the back you can find every language possible from regular English to snake tongue. Let's get it out of this cheap plastic wrap. It does look really nice and the colors are pretty cool. There seem to be a lot of ways to adjust the strap which is good. There is a knob on the back which is responsible for adjustments. I don't need the blue part and shield, only strap matters. So this is what it looks like when put on head, it's really big. I don't know who is it made for but it doesn't fit my head or the mannequins. It doesn't hold on to the head very well, it can easily fall off. There is a lot of space between the strap and head, there is not enough grip between them. Most likely I won't use this one, maybe the knob mechanism but nothing else. Here you can see how it looks like without all the useless plastic parts. There is a some sort of cushion on the front which is nice, not all headgears have that. And now I will open headgear which I've bought at Tesco, it doesn't have its own brand I believe. I can already see all the useless plastic parts inside. So there is this orange thing again which is not usable for anything. Only headgears matter. As you can see it's quite similar to the headgear which I've looked at before. Maybe it's little bit smaller. Yet it's smaller for sure. This one actually looks usable. I've put it on my head and it fits pretty good. My mannequin may not be perfectly life-sized. And now the third and final one. It's made by Dexter, it's an European company I think. There's some low effort image of a guy right here which is not important. What's important are all of those pictograms around him. Like what is that? A pneumatic dildo? As always it comes with clear eye protection glass which I'll throw in garbage can where it belongs. Protection is for losers. Headgear itself has some unique colors, it's welcome but it doesn't matter. Knob works kinda weird though. There's a lot of clicking sound present. Here it is without the plastic parts. I think I like this one the most of those three. Size is actually pretty decent. It fits my head pretty good. Those huge knobs on the sides are an eyesore but those are easy to remove. I think I'll use it for my Oculus Rift DK1. So guys that's pretty much it. Hope that some of you might find this video somewhat useful. I think it would be best to entirely 3D print such strap but those would have to do for now.